This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can change the color of an object in an image using Affinity Photo. And for this example here I have an image of this red car. I'm going to show you how to change the color to something different like blue like that. And I'll also be showing you how to do this in such a way that you can edit this color anytime you'd like to make that color whatever you want it to be. So I'll go ahead and close out of this. I'm going to go ahead and open up my image now. I'll go to File and click on Open. And I'm going to open up my example image here. And the first thing I want to do is unlock the layer. So I'm going to click on this little lock icon. If I come over here to the Layers menu, the Image layer, there's a lock icon right there. Go ahead and click on that to unlock it. And then go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we are looking for Recolor, which is right there. Now what you could do is you could take the hue slider right here and make this color whatever color you'd like to change your object to. Now it's going to change the color of the whole image, but don't worry about that. We're going to address that in just a minute. So I'm going to change this to a shade of blue like that. And now what I want to do is go to Layer and click on New Empty Mask Layer. And it should place it as a sub-layer beneath the adjustment layer right there. And what you could do now is you can grab the paintbrush, which is over here. You press B on the keyboard as a shortcut. And make sure you have the color white enabled right here under the color tab. And what you could do is if you zoom in, you could hold control and roll, in, roll up and down on your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You could take your paintbrush and start painting in the area of the car to change the color of the car as you can see here. Now if you notice here, the, the brush is pretty big, so I'm going to change the size of this brush. You can you, you can change the size of the brush using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. So I'm going to bring this, I'm going to use the left bracket key to bring this down a little bit. And I'm going to just touch up the edges here to make sure I'm not leaving out any areas like that. Now if you want to move around the page, your navigation functions, you can just press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse like that to move around. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and paint all of the trim around the edges here and then I'll go ahead and fill in the rest real quick. And once you're done touching up all of the edges right here, what you can do is you can make the brush a little bigger using the right bracket key and you could just go through here and fill in the rest pretty quickly as you see me doing here. Okay, and as you can see, I am finished here. I have effectively changed the color of this car using this recolor effect. Now, if you want to turn off the visibility of this effect at any point, the, uh, the, the benefit of doing this is that it's non-destructive. You could just go ahead and tick this little box right here, or untick this box to turn off the visibility of it, and the car is back to its original color. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back on. Now, let's say you want to change this to a different color. Well, all you have to do is double click this little box right here next to the uh, where it says recolor adjustment. Just double click on that and you should get this recolor menu opened up again. And you can go ahead and change the color of that car as you see fit. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how easy it is to just change the color of an object using Affinity Photo. If you have any questions about this, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.